Dubai, which has been turbocharged. Even the lockdowns could not stop it. Today is the party destination of the world. It's the celebration destination of the world. If you want to have fun, people come to Dubai. We have got the Ferrari Porto Fino M, which brings a loud, roaring music to this party. But our kind of party is always going to be behind the wheels. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do that now. I have flown all the way to the desert city to tame this prancing horse, which is making music even while standing still. Porto Fino has been around for quite some time and it's got a midlife makeover. There are these new, very smart air intakes, makes it look aggressive, yet smiling, and also helps to soak in pure O2, you know. Now, for me, if it's not a red Ferrari, it's not a Rosso Corsa, then it's not a Ferrari. But we'll live with whatever we've got. At least it's got red calipers and it looks strikingly well. Now, it's not visual updates because Ferrari had to undergo uh, Euro 6 emission norms, so which basically means that it comes with GPS filters. It is a gasoline particulate filters. They had to really uh, delete the silencers, reprofile the exhaust so that it even sounds louder. Now, this is a lot of changes here. There are this carbon fiber here. There's this uh, vents here. It even sounds louder than before. You don't believe me? Listen to this. I'm having a sweet heart attack. This is not noise, guys. This is not noise. This is music to us, right? This is music to us. And as I said, it's time to get the party started. Let's hop in to the seat which matters the most. You feel teleported to a different world the moment you're sitting in This is such a Ferrari leather. In fact, the interiors are actually four years old, but you know, it's like that black suit in your wardrobe, which never goes out of fashion and always looks cool. This is the same interior I'm talking about. And of course, these buttons are so uh, nice feel to it. I'm, I'm happy it's got not, it's not that cheap haptic feel. It's got real buttons which you can feel. And these AC vents are like these turbine jet fuels. Uh, reminds you of a, you know, of, of like a fighter jet kind of a feeling that you get that, get that here. Which is going to be really cool in this uh, Dubai desert. So, let's not wait any more time. sound, the chassis, the acceleration, it all comes together like a neatly orchestrated symphony. Of course, as I click to the tighter gear issues, makes the needle red line quicker than the word quicker itself. There is a certain kind of rawness which was not there in the Porto Pino before. In fact, the shifts are some of the quickest in the business and the soulful V8 under the hood that accompanies every shift of the left paddle makes some of the greatest noises coming out of the machinery which is silently wake up, waking up this desert and is actually quite intoxicating. The Porto Fino's engine sits right in front of the driver which basically means you get boot space which can be of some use when the roof, folding rooftop isn't folded which basically defeats the purpose. Now you also get two hilariously bucket seats which is of practically no use but then you have two seats at the rear. The loss of boot space is very much matched up by this folding rooftop which I'm going to fire up now I'm going to give you a pro tip the folding rooftop isn't functional right now it's nothing to do with the malfunction it's basically if you have kept anything which is coming on the way in the boot space it won't really fold so I'll have to pull over and I'll show you what is holding it back and then we'll fire up the boot let's do that as I said there's something troubling the hood to get fired up and that has to be my bag or maybe something else which is yeah we have to keep it like this now this will go down portofino doesn't come with a one touch boot closer it's manual but these are gimmicks fry doesn't believe in it believes in engineering now the folding rooftop will come down hopefully yeah so if you are going to be at higher speeds it will tell you to slow down because the roof is opening Still opening and there you are, you are in sunny California right now. This is the beauty of the Portofino M which is so romantic, you know. This is something which no SUV in the world can give you. And there are very few luxury cars with four seats which can give you this thong. And this is 
Now, the best thing to do? I'm going to indulge myself in this luxury and the sound is actually now more loud and clear. It used to be very mellowed down but now you can hear the howl of a V8. This is Dubai, this is December, best time to get the roof down. Don't even think of doing this in March, or April or May because perhaps you'll be toasted by the scorching sun. You'll be burnt to ashes. The biggest clue to the Portofino's newfound sporty intent is this Manatino switch toggle bar, which is a premium metal, airbrush metal. I feel like holding it all the time and playing with it, but got to be careful because this now comes with five modes instead of four. The fifth mode, the race mode, which basically means ESC off, VDS deactivated, F1 TCS deactivated, and I'm going to put that right now on the race mode, which now means that only God can help me and I can only pray while I drive. And you can see here the sound of the race mode when you put it. <laughs> Speaking of the steering, the steering has a lot of controls and it's of course electrically adjust adjusted. Uh, this somewhat gives satisfying feedback, but it is, isn't as engaging as maybe a Porsche for that matter. Now every Portofino features ceramic brakes, which means that this flying beast can be hauled to a stop very quickly. Speaking of flying, it also competes in price and back factor with uh, Bentley Flying Spur, just for additional information. Speaking of the steering, it has a lot of controls on the steering. The Ferrari steering is very important because it also now comes with the modes are all given here. The engine start, stop buttons are given here. They spend so much of time making the steering. It comes with carbon fiber material on the steering and the place you're holding it. In fact, there are these indicators also on the steering. When you switch on the car, it, it completely blinks by and it reminds you that you're behind a Ferrari. I can keep driving the Ferrari Portofino whole day, I won't be tired. This, is, this car is something which isn't really too hard on you because unlike many sports cars, unlike many uh, cars of this engine spec, etc., can really be very, you know, it won't be feel very comfortable, but somehow you feel that you have really tamed this prancing horse because the mannerisms are very interesting and of course when you're driving in Dubai which has perhaps the best roads and perhaps the best place to own a Ferrari, for that matter, you can literally keep driving it all day and all night. Yeah, just to remind you, the prices of gases here is ridiculously less. So which answers my earlier question. In case you're looking for a fuel economy and you still want to own a Ferrari, just come to Dubai, settle here and own it. While time is limited on Earth, I just can't get enough of the Portofino M in the desert city. Time to say goodbye to the desert city. Time to say goodbye to 2021 and say hello to 2022. Say hello to new hopes. Say hello to the sentence, happy new year. Just be on the race mode and push the life pedal to extract the best out of it. It's one life. And if you live it well, it's enough.